Hey everyone, week 4 libraries, another problem that is adieu adieu. So today we are going to discuss the third problem from the problem set 4, adieu adieu. Let us see what this problem says here. In this problem we have to create a program which is going to accept the names from the user and it yeah, we have to assume that user is going to enter at least one name and it is going to be one name one line till the user inputs control D if you see it here in a file called edu.py implement a program that prompts the user for names one line one per line until the user inputs control D assume that the user will input at least one name and then we have to output something like this adieu adieu if there is one name then to lessel like this if there are two names adieu adieu to lessel and frederick if there are three names then adieu adieu to lessel comma if you see here um, here this comma is here here frederick and loisa if there are four names then three comma two commas no one two and three commas here you see comma number one comma number two and comma number three and then and this is what we have to implement let us check the hints here yeah. it is being advised to install a library called inflect so let me copy this line of code first of all and then we, i jump into installing it in the code spaces here I have to write it at the terminal and it is going to install it I believe it should be already installed requirement already satisfied so everything is now okay and we can start writing the program before I write the program let me let us open this page I have all this page already opened over here and what it is being advised is that in this page is that we have to import these this library this is the way we import and write this line and so i am going to do that first of all so let me copy it and go back to my page here yeah i am going to clear the terminal for the time being from here apart from it i am also going to need another library called sys reason being the user out input stops with the control d if you see until the user inputs control D then this is it next line what I am going to do here is that I am going to define an empty list what for because whatever name the user is going to input I am going to store those names into this empty list so I have defined it as names and then I am going to write while true because till that time the user does not press control D we have to keep asking the user and then try name is equal to input name what is here let us see the demo video name yeah name give us here a space and then I am going to append it into names list that we define here you this is name and this is names plural and this is the list that we have defined over here empty list so this completes our try block now let us jump on to accept block i am going to write here accept uf error if you remember problem set 3 which was about exceptions phillips and takaria and if you go over here you can see that note that you can detect when the user has inputted control D by catching an EOF error with a code like except EOF error. So I am just going to do that here. And I am going to print one additional line because for some reason it uh, the cursor was remaining on the same line. If it is moving to the next line in your case you can leave it as it is. You do not need to print it. So this is what here you can see here inputting control d does not require inputting enter as well so the user's cursor 
and subsequent prompt might thus remain on the same line as your program's own prompt. You can move the cursor to the new line by printing slash n yourself. So I am going to print uh, use a print statement rather than that. And then I am going to break out of the loop. So this is what we have done so far here. Now it is time to print. So what we have to print here? Yeah, we have to print here. This line has to go and then it this is this what i have highlighted here is the fixed part and the rest are the variable part which will be taken from the names list so, so this is it and then i am going to put a plus sign here and let us come back to the inflect library uh, description once again and what is of our interest here is if you see where it is it should be here if you see these names these examples so what it is doing here in this very case if you see this example my list is equal to p dot join apple comma banana comma carrot and the output is apple comma banana comma and carrot and this is exactly what we are looking for here so i am going to copy this line and paste uh, be up to here let me copy it and I am going to paste it here only difference here is that instead of those variable fixed names here I have to use my list of names so where I have put the names and the user has entered into this names list here so I am going to put here names so I think this is it I think now we are good to run few test cases. So let me type here python edu.py. So first name is L I E S L. Second name is what is this Frederick? Okay. Let me type it here. Third name is Louisa. Okay. Let's go here and then i press ctrl d here you see and you add you to listen frederick and luisa okay let me try running it one more time and this time i am going to put only one na name what was the name of the lady in the beginning listen and i press ctrl d here so here it is just one output so i think now we can go and do the cs50 check let me copy this line of code from here and paste it here and wait for the results by the way i have also started to come up with videos related to python basics i have so far published videos related to python strings and methods lists and methods tuples and methods sets and their methods and couple of more videos i will share the link of the complete playlist for python basics into the description box you may want to check them out okay so here we are and let me expand this a little up so here you can see that everything is in green it means our code has worked and we are good to submit the problem so this was it for this video if you find this video useful consider giving it a like share it subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who are pursuing cs50 until that time as always happy coding